Hello again, I am Blunty. Now quite recently I did a video covering the subject of video lighting, one of the core factors in getting good looking video, even for simple stuff like YouTube vlogs. And I reviewed this product, which is the Roto Light. Uh, in fact, I reviewed the Roto Light interview kit, which consists of two of these, so you can do proper lighting and more even lighting and all that sort of stuff. Go watch the video to get more information about that. But when I was recently at the digital show, which is a big expo thing for photography and videography industry and a shout of, you know, all the fancy new cameras, all the bits and pieces of equipment, the tripods, blah, 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 blah. And I ran into the Roto Light guys there who were showing off their newest piece of lighting kit and it is called the Roto Light Anova. Now, it is really, really fancy and it costs a few thousand bucks and it's designed to be a big ass studio light so even if you're like me and you do videos on a regular basis it may be sort of way over the top of what you actually need but it has some very cool tricks that will hopefully sort of trickle down into the more affordable realm sooner rather than later either way it's an interesting bit of technology if you're into this videography and lighting and stuff kit and it has some very, very clever tricks to do with an iPhone as well. So, you know, even if you're not going to spend $3,000 on a studio light, you might be wanting to check out this video anyway, because it is really cool gear. <laughs> okay, so this is the Rotolite Nova. It's a thousand watt uh, LED studio floodlight, but it only uses 38 watts of power. So it's 93% more efficient than a typical hot light. The great thing with it is I can touch the front. There's absolutely no heat from it whatsoever. And unlike other studio lights, which are typically about 55 degree angle of light, these are 110, so it will cover four times the area of a square LED panel. Um, but the beautiful thing is, by being 110 degrees, the light is very, very soft. And by being circular, if I stand in front of it, you actually get that really nice ring light effect, even though it's a studio floodlight. Now, the other nice thing about it is it's fully adjustable, so we can go all the way to zero, all the way up to 100. And I can do that in one percentage steps, so I can click and hold and do tens. It's also a bi-color LED system. Now, unlike other uh, LEDs that can change color temperature, some have a dial where you have no idea what color temperature you're operating at. With this, I can click in, specify my color temperature, and adjust it to a 10 degree Kelvin accuracy, all the way down to 3150 tungsten, all the way up to 6300 Kelvin, so you can use it outdoors as a fill in direct daylight. But the really, really cool thing is, in addition to the fact you can change the color temperature, uh, that it's lightweight, really soft light, it's also the first studio light in the world that's natively iPhone controller. So it has a built-in Wi-Fi network. This doesn't require a router. It doesn't require 3G. You could use it with your iPhone in the middle of the desert or iPad and control an unlimited number of devices from one phone. So if I show you how simply it works, we have a pin system on the lights. You can set up a protection so no one can mess about with the lights when you're on stage. Well, let's say you've got multiple studios. You have 10 lights in Studio A and 20 in Studio B. You can have them on totally different networks. Um, so all you do is you go into the, the menu system, go into control, and say so I want to control this not locally, not via DMX, but via Wi-Fi. And in my iPhone, it's going to give me a shot of all of the available lights. It's going to give me a live readout of the current Kelvin color temperature, accurate to one degree Kelvin. And what I can do with this light, for example, is go through the range, and you can see as I'm doing it, the light adjusts the power automatically, and similarly with with the color temperature all the way through that range down through tungsten. Zero latency. Now a couple of the really nice cool features about this, let's say you're working in a studio where you want to fade the lights to black. Right well, now you've got to get a guy to ride the DMX faders or your operator on the light. So we invented the fade designer. So you can say I want to fade my studio from, you pick a point, you say I want to fade it from say 70% or 100% down to 10% over four seconds. I hit apply fade, and it's going to fade my light down through the preset light level over the time electronically and I can apply the same thing to the whole studio to one light selectively or to a selected group of lights a couple other really cool features we teamed up with Apple and on a non-disclosure basis we had access to the Apple uh, iPhone's uh, auto white balance gain and RGB gain with that information we're able to turn the iPhone into a colorimeter to actually measure the ambient color temperature of light and intensity in lux send it to the light and have the light replicate it. So you could have one crew who are on location shooting a movie in New York, texting the studio in Melbourne, and with one click, the studio becomes the same color temperature as the, as the location. So you get that consistency if you're doing green screen shoots. Similarly, if you're a photographer and you have a preferred way of working with a particular model or client, you can save the studio settings for, say, 20 lights, 
rather than having to spend two hours re-rigging when you come back in two weeks, you upload that client settings and with one click the studio goes back to how it was. Um, now the entire light uh, with uh, barn doors, with the V-plate, DMX uh, and Wi-Fi uh, lists for around 3,200 Australian dollars. Um, it's less than three kilograms in weight, already being used by MTV Discovery Channel, BBC, um, and um, also uh, uh, used by some of the biggest still photographers in the world, so people like um, Philip Nash, who's the current beauty and glamour photographer of the year. Um, so great for stills, great for video. This is the Rotolite Light Nova. So there you go. What did I tell you? Some very, very cool nifty little trickery and gizmodery. Is that a word? Gizmodery? It is now. I just coined it gizmodery. Having to do with gizmos and technology and fancy things. Very, very clever stuff. And I hope that sort of studio sort of being able to control it with the iPhone and match lighting levels and all that sort of just amazingly cool stuff. I hope that sort of trickles down to an, into a more affordable consumer level product sometime soon or even prosumer. But uh, yeah, either way, the message is clear. If you want your videos to look as good as they possibly can, you gotta pay attention to the lighting. Thanks for watching. I am Lonty, and I will catch you next time. Wait, I'll do a guest story. Once in the deep dark woods, there was a video camera without a light, and everything looked awful. Man. I'm just bored. Oh, I've lost focus. Game's over.